Victorian Premier has demanded an urgent report from the state's building watchdog on the dispute between the construction giant Grocon and its unionised workers. Hundreds of members of the Construction, Forestry, Mining and Energy Union returned to the scene of yesterday's clash with police to continue picketing Grocon's billion dollar development site. Lisa Maximovic reports. It was a subdued gathering outside the Emporium development at dawn, but the resolve of CFMEU members to pressure Grocon hasn't changed. To construction workers, it's very important to be able to walk onto a construction site and say you're a member of the union and a proud member of the union and you shouldn't be sacked for it. Union members have been picketing the work site for a week, claiming they've been intimidated and harassed by the company. Yesterday, the situation came to a head when police arrived to escort Grocon employees onto the site. Mounted and riot police clashed with hundreds of protesters and were forced to back down. Industry insiders say it's all part of a battle for control on construction sites. And the building watchdog says unlawful behaviour in the industry is rife. Each state capital is not without its problems of organised crime. But uh, there's no doubt in my mind that Melbourne has been the worst for a considerable time. We don't know who they are. We can't point fingers and say who they are. Maybe if Nigel Hatchkiss knows who they are, that he should point the fingers and say who they are. The Premier has asked Mr Hatchkiss to provide a report on the ongoing dispute. The people of Victoria got to see, and indeed the people of Australia got to see yesterday, the CFMEU at work. Uh, thuggish behaviour, unruly behaviour, unlawful behaviour, blockading a legitimate building site. The CEO of Grocon, Daniel Grollo, and the CFMEU have agreed to meet at Fair Work Australia tomorrow. The issues in dispute here are only and best resolved through negotiation and discussion and certainly should not be the subject of some of the scenes which we've seen in the last 48 hours. But union members say they'll be back at the picket line tomorrow. Lisa Maximovic, ABC News, Melbourne.